Hello everyone, students, parents, friends, we're back. Today we're going to work on class number four, which is the headlock defense. By the way, the headlock movement is the most popular move on the street. That's what everybody does, especially school, college. We're going to work on that in a minute, in a, in a few minutes. We're going to start with our, uh, our warm up. Today, the first drill is going to be the burpees. We're going to do sets of 10 per 30 seconds break. Coach Alto will demonstrate. We're going to have the time go. Hit. One, two, three. Time. We're going to do 10. Take a 30 seconds break. Round number two and round number three. That's the first drill to warm up. Second, uh, um, uh, second drill is going to be the, the sit up. We're going to do a different way. You need a partner. You're going to hold the leg of your partner, stretch your legs, and you're going to throw the legs 10 times. That's the, today is the, uh, is the beginning of, uh, of, uh, of the second week. So we're going to start light and we're going to increase the number of reps during the week. Go like this push, one. Two, three, four, five, and then we'll go 10 times, take a quick break, up to 30 seconds, round number two, and then round number three, okay? Third exercise, we call the shoulder touch position. You're gonna be in a push-up position and moving your shoulder. You're gonna start light, lighter on the first day, it's gonna be 20 touches, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You go 20 times, take a quick break, round number two and round number three. That concludes three different drills, three different exercises as a warm up drill. Let's jump into class headlock defense. Challenge hmm? plus? Oh, yes, you have to do the plus. I'm sorry. When you're done with the three exercises, you do what we call the plus, which you will, you're gonna do all three warm up drills at once, and then take a 30 seconds break. Example, we do the burpees, go, bam, yeah, one, two, 10 times, all right? And then you're gonna go uh, to the sit up, one, two, three, five times, 10 times, and then shoulder touch, 20 times. Set. When you do all three in a row, you take a 30 seconds break. Round number two, all three exercise, 30 seconds break. Round number three, all three exercise, and then you take a break. You can do the plus on all classes. From number one to number 31, you can do the plus. You do your three exercise drills and you do the plus, all three combined. In case, I, I think I forgot to mention that on the previous classes but you can do the plus anytime you want. All right, let's jump to class number four, headlock defense. The headlock is that very famous position that somebody out of the blue jumps on you and puts you in this position here. With that, they can strike and they can take you down. So you don't want anybody to grab your neck, do this choke, and then take you down because on the floor, is 10 times worse. So we need to, to block and avoid and do the defense, the counter, before we go to the floor, okay? Technique one. They jump on you, it's very important, look. One, two, see, you cup the elbow. Why are you doing the elbow cup? Because if you don't have this here, he can strike you in the face, see? So, one, two. Now, base, all right? As soon as you put your base, very simple, you're gonna take the guy, you're gonna back up and take him down behind you, look. Right away, top arm position. He's doing a different angle here. Right here, see, move a little bit. One, two, base, and then pass, look. See, this way. One, two, base.
Hope you got all the details. That's number one. The number two requires a little bit of lifting. I'm gonna do a very light variation because Coach Shelton is a little bit heavier than I, so I'm not gonna be able to lift, but I'm gonna just take him down. And then he's gonna demonstrate on me, because I'm a lighter, he's gonna demonstrate when you, when the guy that is grabbing your neck is lighter than you so you can do the lift, okay? So let's go with the first variation of the second technique. So when I grab here, same thing, you cup the wrist, one, to lose the choke a little bit, cup behind my elbow, two, see? Now look, I can, see? Now he's doing a squat, his level, he's gonna grab inside my leg, see? Now he's gonna lift me up, it's over for me, look. Uh, and I'm in trouble. In case, yeah, remove. All right. Let me my Again, same position. The guy jumps in you. Ha! See? Cut one. Ah. Hit. Oh, look, look, look. Oh. Of course, I'm a lighter. I'm a little bit lighter than him. You can lift if you're defending yourself on the street. The other guy was about to hurt you. You can lift him as much as you want and then slam him on the floor. Self-defense, it is what it is. If the guy is a little heavier than you, you know, of course, you're not gonna lift. You're gonna pick him up a little bit and take him down. That's the only difference, that's the only variation, depending on the weight of the other guy, okay? Now, third technique. We're gonna use our gauche takedown. I'm gonna step in front of the guy and take him down. Again, remember, one, two, base, step from here to here, look. Can you control the arm? Go to the top. in a different angle, because I want you to see when I'm hugging, cupping the waist. You can grab the pants, the shirt, the belt to do uh, to finish the move. Here's one. Here, face, step. Control. Different angle. That was the third technique. Let me see, four from here, four to the jaw, okay? Fourth and last one. Here, detail, base, bam! Use the frame here, use your forearm inside. Now look, you start looking up, use your hips, move, and you have a guillotine choke. So I'm using the blade, my forearm, I'm pushing inside his jaw, his throat, moving him sideways, you do a little move, and you have a choke, which we call guillotine choke. Again. And then. Different angle. Here, face.
Okay, we're gonna do a quick review on four techniques that we did today before we go to games and fun activity. Okay? Fun, break, let's see. Ah. He's gonna demonstrate. Two, here, base, uh. That was the headlock position. Like I said before, it's the most popular move on the street. You can do a lot of wraps. I would say on each technique, do a good 10, 20, 30, 40 times if you want it. On each technique. Also, as you can see, it's a good workout. You break the sweat, heart rate goes up. It's a good time to parents Mom can do a dad, dad can do a mom, work with the kids, uh, get a partner, husband and wife, uh, girlfriend and boyfriend, work and then you're gonna be a trainee, working out, get some time together and learning some self-defense moves, jiu-jitsu moves, a little bit of judo and jiu-jitsu moves that can maybe save your life on the street. You just never know, okay? We're gonna advance to, our, to finish with our little game game and activity uh, for all parents and all kids can do this together. We call a knee touch competition. We do a lot of my gym uh, as a warm up and basically two, two people stay in front of each other and you have to jump and tag the knee. If you touch the knee of your partner, your partner pays three jump knees penalties. One, two, three, all right? Goes like that, bow, shake hands, and then we're gonna be fighting. One, two, three, let's go. Ah. 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 Alright. That concludes our fourth class. Today I hope you guys had fun. I hope everybody's safe and we stay together. We train together. Tune up. We'll come back next class with class number four. Do not forget to like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on our YouTube page. Thank you very much. God bless everyone. Us.